one second. <laughs> All right. Whoop. Righty tighty. There we go. All right. <laughs> Hello and good evening, everyone. My name is Leah Conover, and I created the project Holistic. From the dawn of time, man has looked to the earth to provide medicinal healing. Since the production of unnatural pharmaceutical drugs, we have created a strong disconnect between our health and Mother Earth. My artwork intends to take us back to the roots of humanity, where man and nature walked together as one, and clay was the most important and versatile mineral of which we knew. By incorporating my passion for the earth, holistic health, permaculture, and spiritual practice, I've created large ceramic sculptural vessels to hold, life, or to hold a community of, of medicinal plants. My Agate Crystal series of paintings is a celebration of the natural color and curvilinear forms found within agate geodes, power stones that work harmoniously with plants, and as a Reiki II practitioner, I have also infused this, the, these medicinal plants with Reiki healing energy in hopes to increase their medicinal benefits and bring power to the plants. I would like to thank my mom and dad for the unconditional love and support, the FGCU faculty for being the guiding light for me this my entire college experience, Jeannie DeLowry for being my number one fan, and last but not least, every single member of FG, FGCU Enlighten Us for being the positive encouragement that I've needed this semester in my whole life. Thank you, I love you. Hello. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Futrell. The title of my show is Victims of Progress and it's simply about how humanity is being, uh, is taking over nature and we are exchanging biodiversity for our progress. Um, I have a lot of people I want to say thank you to, so a quick thank you to the faculty and staff of FGCU. Your warmth and your, your love has meant so much to me. Thank you very much for tolerating my crazy ass. Um, I love you guys. Um, a special thank you to the Cohan Foundation, FGCU's College of Arts and Sciences, the Southwest Florida Fine Crafts Guild, the Rauschenberg Residency Foundation, the Sanibel Captiva Rotary Club, and Thomas Riley Studios. Thank you very much for your awards and scholarships. They've helped me out tremendously and have meant the world to me. Um, a special thank you to my loving and wonderful family, and I hope you guys enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Justin McDowell, and this semester I worked on starting my own nonprofit organization, Inspired to Create where I will work to provide opportunities in the arts for children in underprivileged areas. Uh, my show features two infographic posters detailing the, uh, the benefits of art education, the decline in the amount of art programs, the access to art, and the skills that art promotes. And additionally, I'll have some original photography, an informational booklet, and the brand identity of the organization. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and all the art faculty for all the help and support throughout this entire semester, and thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tyler Nash, and the experience that I'm presenting to all of you tonight is called Welcome to Blackwood. As the name suggests, you will be introduced to a new fantasy world of my own creation. The realm of Blackwood is a mysterious, enchanting, and sometimes disturbing place filled with its own unique beings, creatures, and mythology. To bring this vision to life, I merged my love of theme parks, haunted attractions, the art world, and storytelling in general to create a compelling and immersive environment for all to explore. Not only will you view Blackwood through my drawings, you will also experience the sights, sounds, and even the smells of a house where my beings live. Now, before your journey begins, I invite you to read the short origin story of Blackwood uh, next to my artist statement in order to learn how this mystical place came to be. Or you may choose to 
enter this world using your own perception alone. Either way you choose, my hope is for all of you to take away something that enriches your lives, something that you'll truly remember for the rest of your days. I genuinely and wholeheartedly thank you all for being here tonight, and I hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Paige Nelson, and my project was Revealing the Karma Culture Girl. For my project, I worked with Karma Culture, which is an online boutique, and during the process, I had to solve a design problem that required me to convey the company's story and visually attract its following. As a result, I created three promotional posters and commercials to convey who the Karma Culture Girl is. I'd also like to thank my family and my boyfriend and my friends and all the professors. You were so wonderful for, uh, to me from the past few years, so thank you. Hello, my name is Taylor Radiker. My senior project exhibition is titled Unseen and is about invisible chronic illnesses. Often people do not understand invisible chronic illnesses or accept them as real. I've had strangers tell me that my fibromyalgia does not exist and that my pain is not real. Instances like this are very common for people with invisible chronic illnesses. I've made three large panels, each portraying a figure with a specific illness, struggling to perform an everyday normal task that has become difficult for them. My goal for my senior project is to reveal the unseen realities of people with invisible, in, <laughs> invisible chronic illnesses. I'd like to thank my family, my boyfriend, Dominic, and all of the amazing faculty here. Hello, my name is Adam Robert, and my show is called No Reason at All. Um, gun control is a very controversial topic in the US and will likely remain so for many years to come. And we're gonna talk about it right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and after that comment, I lost my place. <laughs> so um, after this attack this summer at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, um, I've discovered that we of a country um, have fallen into a cycle, a pretty deadly one. Um, so there's a mass shooting that occurs. We mourn for a couple of days. Liberals try to push gun control legislation and NRA backed politicians shoot it down. So what is stopping us from, you know, stop, like, um, from doing something about all this bloodshed and gun violence in the greatest nation on earth? So what I think is it comes down to organizations like the National Rifle Association who give millions of dollars each year to sitting politicians to keep gun control legislature in check on Capitol Hill. And these are the people that believe that um, more guns make us safer. And there's already 300 million guns, more than that actually, in the US. And still in the year 2013, 11,208 people were killed from firearms. Um, these are the people that believe that 11,208 is an acceptable number. Um, these are the people that believe that those kids that died at Sandy Hook were just a side effect of our right to bear arms. So I decided to tackle this issue the only way I know how in this organization, tackle this organization, to make fun of it. I've uh, created a brand called No Reason Ammo, which bears the NRA's own acronym, NRA, No Reason Ammo. Um, so um, one note, just feel free to pick up the ammo boxes in the show and read them. And um, uh, also, anything you buy from the show, those proceeds will go to a nonprofit organization based in Philadelphia called the Gun Violence Survivors Foundation. And they help to um, like, um, like help the uh, victims of gun violence and the families of those who have been like, taken from gun by gun violence in the US. 
So um, I'd like to thank my family, my friends, my fellow artists, and the faculty at FGCU. Thank you. That seems good. Ah, uh, I broke it. Okay, wait. <laughs> All right, so hello. My name is Jacqueline Sanabria, and my project is Transition Record on the Precipice of Adulthood. It's an illustrated book that follows the journey of a giraffe-headed figure as they transition into adulthood. On the gallery wall, you'll also find the 23 original illustrations that are found in the book. Uh, what I want everyone to know is that each page presents a different emotion that the giraffe goes through, whether it's anxiety, frustration, and even sadness as they worry about this transition period in their life. They're emotions that I have personally felt, and they're experiences that I hope everyone can relate to. So I invite you all to pick up the sample book that I have, look through it, look at the pictures that I did, and I'll be selling some books for 25 bucks. So um, yeah, thank you all for coming and enjoy the rest of your night. Hello, um, my name is Anthony Vertries, and for my senior project, I created an interactive experience in the form of a board game. My game, Cons, is a uh, multiplayer point builder in which you as the player take control as uh, one of eight cons and fight for control of the uh, universe. Um, I hope that everybody enjoys my game. I'm gonna have people sitting down at a table and playing it for everybody, and uh, the website available where you can go and purchase it and check it out. And uh, I just wanted to thank my family and my girlfriend for being so supportive through this entire process. <laughs> Hello, my name is Angelina Zuniga Reed. I am disturbed by the ecological damage we have done to the planet, and I'm afraid for our future. A sixth mass extinction, fueled by the actions of our species, is taking place. Sooner or later, we will become a part of it. I believe life will find a way to continue, but the world will no longer be a hospitable place for ourselves or any recognizable life forms. If we make an effort to stop and reverse our destructive ways, we may have a chance at continuing our survival. Thank you.